to the stream. I am back with more Maple Story as usual. And, of course, like every other stream, I'm just gonna do my dailies and some other things on the side. So that's what I'll be doing. Where's my mouse? Okay, here it is. Okay, here's obviously is the dailies. Of course it sends me on this very thing I try to avoid. Is my headset quiet? I guess it's quiet on my end. Okay, I should, probably should have moved everything first because everything's in the way a little bit. Anyways. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's this way. change it on my stream live schedule but I think I've I've officially changed my streaming time to about uh to be around like 10 in the morning eastern standard time because with this whole situation happening and that I have been sleeping much later than I usually do because what else am I supposed to do like with um basically I don't really have classes anymore so I don't have to wake up to a uh, um a uh, like online stuff and well it's like more like I usually stay up pretty late but this is but I've been staying up much later to the point that it's always almost one in the morning and I'm like yeah I should really fix my sleep schedule <laughs> at some point but it hasn't happened um yet Especially with this whole situation happening and waking up much later than I usually do. <clears throat> yeah, so streams are gonna be moved, a, like, gonna be changed a little bit. I haven't edited Streamlabs schedule yet, so I will have to do that after this stream. I think I was going to do that before I streamed, but I kind of forgot, so. <laughs> also, what else? First, let's go do this uh, bounty pole thing. Speedy arrow keys. No! Oh, it's easy to go through this. one thing I would like to say um because I kind of like saw someone comment on this yesterday and it's like we're um despite obvious like confirmation of things there are people who deny it and it's like if you ever see those people here's the simple solution ignore them because like just like don't focus on this kind of people like being like, oh, it, t it actually doesn't mean this when it actually does. It's just like, just ignore them. They're they're just going to be in denial. You're never going to convince those people otherwise. And basically, the thing in particular I'm thinking about is... Uh, how do I put this? <laughs> because technically part of a... It's technically connected to an event in the series that is a spoiler, so I'm not really sure how to put it. But it's something that just 
Like, thinking about it, it's just all fluffy, I guess, a bit. I say a bit because it does happen around a point. Like, this... Like, this fact gets confirmed around a point that is very heartbreaking. So I'm not sure how they completely feel, to be honest. Also, speaking of which, um... Also... I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I know, like, there are people who are getting their... Yeah, I did mention it already, but I'll say it again. No, like, there are people who are getting their hopes up for, like... Um, basically, as you know, as the bottom of the screen says, I talk about Seraph at the end a lot. And, and, of course, I'm talking about it again a little bit because apparently I've been talking about it a lot these days. Especially since I've been reading the chapters online and the recent chapters having to be the most heartbreaking chapters ever that I've read. Like, the last time the series made me cry was about, like, four years ago. Like, I still got emotional when I read the chapters, but it was, like... I wasn't, like, physically crying when I read them. Okay. Mm, where's the pen? If I use the return scroll, it's just gonna be sending me to the clip side again. Tree spirits are so cute. Anyways. So yeah, like, while this series did still baby emotional times, I didn't, like, physically cry. Like, felt tears, like, rolling down my face and all. Like, these recent chapters have been the first in, like, four years. And... And I mean literally four years, because I got into series in March, and when I watched this anime episodes, I actually cried. Like... Ah... <sighs> say it because there's probably some people who don't know yet like or are interested in the series but like you know I mean I'm pretty sure everyone who has like I'm pretty sure even if people don't know Seraph at the end they just see like at least like two of the characters and be like okay <laughs> just immediately knows some things but it's like, just in case people are interested in the series and I don't want to, like, kind of, like, kind of ruin the experience a little bit. Also, I'm kind of... <laughs> also, it feels like I'm recommending it a lot, but I can't help it. I enjoy the series and I want people to understand how the into why the entire fan base is crying right now. And in truth, we are crying. We're still crying. Because we want something happy to happen. But nothing happy has happened in like. But the thing, that's the thing. The thing is like we got some happy, cute-ish like fluff. It's cute-ish because it is still like in a dire situation, I guess. But like we have like a some just soft dialogue, and then. <clears throat> okay, the skill's glitching. Anyways. Like, it's basically like... Okay, I don't want to say it because it'll just get... For, like, people who don't know. But... Hmm... <sighs> I'll just say it's like... These recent chapters, obviously, like, before... Before these sad chapters happened, like, something, something really cute and a bit fluffy, like, just was said, was stated in, in this, in the series. But then, not, like, a couple chapters later, which in universe was probably, like, 20 minutes later, it just becomes extremely sad. And I'm like, oh, why? It's like, why would he do this to us? Yeah, I got really sad, and God, it broke me. I know I said this already, but you know, I am speaking of which. I have decided that after a new chapter comes out, 
every time one does, and it varies because, you know, um, we don't know how much is left in the series since I think according to, according to a recent tweet from the creator, um, it's like, this is, I don't know, how do I put this? Basically it's saying, I guess it's like something about like, it being the climax and like, it's now gonna get like, insane even more or something. We don't know, but... The point being is, whenever a new chapter comes out, I'm probably gonna be streaming on that day it does come out. Like, after I read it. Because, with these past two chapters, like, when chapter 89 came out, it was already on the stream day, so I was able to stream. And... But, of course, I finished Ori on that day, which made my emotions even more of a unra- of a more, um, raveled mess or something. Because chapter 89 was a- was, did, did make me cry. And that uh, Ori also made me cry on the same day, so I couldn't even sleep at night because of all that. And chapter 90 made me cry even more. And... I streamed on that day, even though I had no plans to, originally, because I needed to cope. I needed to cope from the chapters. From the new chapter, because I was a crying mess. So I decided that I think every single time I'm going to be reading a chapter, I'm just going to be... I'm just going to be, like, streaming on that day, because... <laughs> Like, I would need to cope. I need to cope from all these, like, sad feelings happening. So, yeah. If, um, but then also the... Hmm, the thing is, like, the next chapter comes out on a Wednesday, so it's like... I don't really stream on that day, but of course... It won't be a problem, because I could just do an art stream, and I don't have to have the microphone on, so... It won't be, like, too bad. Okay, here we go. I mean, I suppose if people are wondering how I'm able to jump here, you have to have like really high speed and uh, jump. Because my one of my characters only had 140% speed and I couldn't even make this jump on that character. But my other character could because of 160% speed. Should I? I'm gonna tell these people I'm streaming. <laughs> I don't know if I should. You know, if anyone's in playing MapleStar right now and are like probably like here right now, like feel free to say hello in the game if you see me. And <laughs> if there are people who are like, I hope they I hope there's some clarification that you do watch the stream because or the VODs because I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I would not know. Some people would randomly tell me hi, and I wouldn't even know if, you know. Are you kidding me? Already the crab attacks me. Which I should probably like announce my streams on the Moop Story Discord, to be honest. <laughs> um, where am I going? Where are the coconuts? Why are you always so gone? Oh 
Wait, it sometimes just lags because I don't know why. It just does since there's like a lot of people always participating. Should probably try breaking coconuts, the golden ones. Okay, this is done now. Okay, I will have to jump closer because I literally cannot click the NPC. Four thousand. Oh, that's not so bad. Anyways, we have to go to where the Discord and Spirits are now, which is... First, we gotta go to the map. Over here! Oh yeah, now that I upgraded my arcane symbols a lot, they're... Like... Um... The damage I get from them is much, much less than before, so... Thankfully, we don't have to deal with it. Too much. And also rock spirits. Oh shoot, I'm not even getting EXP out of this. Recently, I heard that, um, because I've been watching, like, the, these one group of people, like, a whole year, like, they, um, it's like these YouTubers I watch, but they, they all shared one channel together. I, I've heard recently that one of the guys in there is leaving soon, and it's like, uh, it got me emotional, to be honest, because it's like, I've been watching their channel for so long, so, like, ha having to see one leave, like, leave, um, the channel, like, by the- at the end of the week is, like, you know, very- it, yeah. Uh, I'm not good at describing this. But yeah, one of- one of the guys on, like, on- from this YouTube channel I, um, I watch, like, is leaving, and- yeah. I honestly don't know how to, how to, what to say because, like, I don't know. It's really hard to, it's really hard to think a lot about it. And, and part of me doesn't want to say because it's like, I'm not good at words. I'm, I'm not good at explaining, like, things. Man, yeah, that's the I've heard about that I was it yeah it was two it was two days ago when they did that stream as well. <clears throat> I don't know why P 
people send random symbols into chat in this game? <laughs> like, like if you could still if you could see it, like in the bottom left corner, you just see some person randomly typing letters into the chat. No, thinking about it, how do how do people kind of like am, is able to put like this like like characters with like little like accents above it or something? I think that's like a whole like different keyboard setting. Of course, I never tried it out because I, well, obviously I don't, and yeah, pretty much I don't do that. Wait, is that what I'm meant to do? Oh, it actually sent me here this time. Why does it send me to the cliffside, though? Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, a lot of symbols. It's there. For now, I'm kind of focusing on upgrading Lachalane and Arcana. Because I kind of did the bit of math, and, uh... To get the, like, for going through the entire Arcane River, I don't need to max it out. But, of course, it's easier to max it out, so... You get all the stat bonuses and stuff. But, like, I think... Hmm. I tried to say that by the time I reach Espera, like, even with Morass, like, Arcane Symbol, I should be, like, prepared enough to go, like... Like, in terms of meeting the minimum requirements. Um... Here, we're not gonna be doing that. We're just gonna simply go to this. Okay, doesn't like me. Ah, my leg itches. I love the music in this game so much. That's why I kind of mute the sound effects so we could just listen to it. Well, that and listen to me talk for like two hours or something. Oh, someone's already here. Can't change. Okay, there we go. Ignore that because I kind of reached how many potions I want on this character. As I have so many power elixirs that it's like, yeah, I don't think I need to buy them anymore on my main for a while. So how many do I have? Four. Okay, not counting the five I used up. How many is that? Okay, <clears throat> we'll need to check something. Oh, right. I have forty eight that I have. Almost 48,000 potions in my possession in this game. Yeah, I don't think I need any more. <laughs> okay, loot the items. It's getting easier to defeat a elite monster so I'm on my main. It's a little bit tricky at times, but it it's yeah, it's better than before when I literally just avoid the enemy because I can't even attack them.
else to talk about? Because I'm trying to think of, like, what else happened, um, recently. that's been happening lately um obviously tower of god anime like the english dub of it is coming tomorrow uh i'm so t i really want to watch it especially since you know it's getting it's getting it's getting a dub and of course as anyone knows i watch dub anime but the thing is like i don't have crunchyroll and i don't want to pay like money every month just to watch the episodes because I already have a Funimation subscription, and I'm like, I don't want to spend, like, more money, like, on subscriptions these days. So I decided that, like, if I'm gonna watch it, I'm just gonna wait until... I'll just wait until, like, it's done, the current season's done, so I can binge it, um, in one day. And it will be worth it, because, you know, the some of the voice actors, like... I, for, like, the characters, uh, their voicing, I'm like, I can't wait to, I can't wait to hear them. I really want to hear them. I also am hoping that they, their clip does get shared, because I kind of want to hear, like, what can, like, um, Kim's voice so much in English. Because it's Chris Hackney, who's his voice actor, and I'm like, I really want to hear him. I really want to hear, like, the voice. Yeah. I really want to hear him. And speaking of voice actors, I've, been, I've seen, like, someone out there, like, shouting out, like, like, two voice actors, like, post four images that perfectly describe your, your range, and I'm like, seeing some of the pictures, seeing some of the things, like, that they share to kind of, you know, show the range, it, like, show their range, and it's like, even for the book, even for, like, the voice actors I already recognize, it's like, it's so hard to believe that some of them voice certain characters, and, um, because, you know, like, it's like, it shows how they have that incredible range in their, um, voice. And, of course, when I think about it now, like... Well, not really thinking about it now, more like, thinking of... Like, thinking about my situation where I want to be a voice actor. I know it's not gonna be easy, and I've been trying to practice on my own time, but I'm, like, have been lazy, so... I haven't been able to polish up on practicing. Um, but I, I already kind of have an idea of my range, personally. But of course, I will need a little more training to kind of keep it consistent, especially for like a lot of dialogue, because I don't want to like mess up too much. Of course, even if I start voice acting at some point, I'm not going to just like, it's not going to be like, I'm not going to just jump into anime voice acting. Um, anime dubbing right away. I'm, it's probably going to definitely like, it's going to start out small, obviously. Before I get into the anime, like voice acting. I can't wait for that day though. I can't speak which I, hmm. yeah, I need to get practice out there. And here's also the other thing, it's like, even if I wanted to do voice acting, I have to, like, kind of get over my fear of being so afraid to, like, uh, like, you know, like, because, kind of one thing that's making me nervous about, like, voice acting is I have to perform, like, these kind of voice, like, these, uh, you know, recordings, like, obviously when the situation's over, like, I would have to use a studio, a proper studio to voice act in. And the thing is, I, uh, 
obviously am a shy person. So I'm very much an introvert. Um, I'm very shy. I don't really like talking to people sometimes. And of course, this, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like, when I get into voice acting, like, when I start voice acting, like, especially when the situation's over, when I had to go into a studio, or, you know, I had to actually, um... Oh god, it's lagging. Let me go do this so I can get the coins. Oh god, look at all this happening. Okay. Just wanted to get those coins, uh, taken care of. Of course I remove the thing. Anyway, so as I was saying, so, obviously when I, I will have to, like, do my, like, performances, like, and, you know, all the recording stuff in front of people. So I had to get used to, like, I think be more confident in myself in having to do that because, because, you know, like, I don't know, I guess it's the thought of being, of being recorded. Well, I mean, that's normal, though, but... Like, but I'm more, I'm more nervous about having to perform in, like, voice acting in front of people. Even though I kind of do that anyway, like, on my streams. Well, it's also kind of, like, why I'm streaming as well is, like, to kind of, well, one reason, because the other reason is because I don't want to record and edit videos anymore. I still edit videos, but it's not, like, too much or anything. It's just, like, just... Editing the beginning and the ending of a recording. But like, it's also like a good way for me to kind of get more confident in myself. Like, so when I actually start voice acting, it's not like, it's not like, I don't just like curl up in the corner and be like, just uh, like afraid or something. If that makes sense, I actually don't know if it does. But yeah, so for the time being, I'm trying to get my confidence up for like voice acting in general. Because I need, to, because if I'm going to be a voice actor, I will have to perform in front of people. Um, obviously when the situation's over, to clarify, because, you know, we're in a situation where we can't really talk to people in person. Um, but it still technically applies because it's still technically talking in front of people, like, I need, I need to get over that shyness at some point. I really do. Because I really want to get into voice acting, but I'm just so shy. Okay, first let me go do this. Because I tend to mess up here because I always lose focus.
And also the thing about like, why, like, about like, not having like, confidence to like, voice in front of people is also like, one day I will have to voice lines that are like, I know for a fact that when I get into voice acting, I will have to voice like, sound effects or something. Like, you know, when, like, characters, like, I guess, like, during, like, fighting, you just have, like, characters grunting. That is, like, one thing I'm definitely, like, going to be, like, oh, gosh, I have to record that in front of people one day. Can they watch you check do your homework? Okay. Anyways. I'm, like... I don't think I can imagine myself having to, like, grunting noises, <laughs> like, for voice acting, though. I will have to do that eventually, when I get into it, but... Anytime soon, I'm definitely hoping it won't have to involve that. so no one sees me enter my pin number. Okay, I don't have anything to do with this. part I kind of decided that if I'm gonna get into voice acting I'm obviously gonna start out small like something simple and then get into like more complex stuff I guess at the end of the day one thing I want to like like do with voice acting is voice in anime dubs because I I, I really want I really want to voice in anime but obviously anime voice acting is much harder Especially for dubbing, because you have to match up with the mouth movement. And... Obviously, seeing, like, behind the scenes of it, like, it was like, oh gosh. I feel like I'm gonna mess up so badly. <laughs> I... I could just imagine it already, even though I haven't... I'm nowhere near that level yet. But of course, there's still plenty of time, because, obviously, practice is important, so... Like, basically, outside of probably someday getting professional help, I am kind of practicing, like, like, reading my series. Like, I'm working on a series right now, which I don't know when will ever be the day I reveal it, but... But I'm kind of writing dialogue as if how someone would say it out loud, so I'm kind of practicing in that sense. It's also a bit difficult because, uh... Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think. <laughs> hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, it's a little difficult because I did kind of create, a, like, a bunch of different personalities for my characters. Obviously to make them different. So it's kind of hard for me to get into my, like, like, into the shoes of my characters because I'm like, okay, I'm like, not sure how to kind of describe them sometimes. Okay, let's see. Oh, right, I need more coins. I'm supposed to max it. Okay, I'll just wait, like, two minutes since the next uh, coconut season will soon start. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Ini masih kayak sih. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of those though. I've been like seeing a lot of this like on Twitter and like on some streams, so I kind of have the idea of how some people start out. And also it's kind of like why I got this particular microphone, which I'm using right now to like obviously talk, because I get, it's like, it's kind of like a decent one for like beginning voice acting, I guess. The colors, I don't have, like, any soundproofing in my room, so it's, like, the, the quality is, like, lower. Actually, not the quality, the gain. Like, the gain, like, getting my voices smaller. Although it kind of sounds loud, because you can still hear my keyboard through the thing. Oh, here we go. Another coconut season mini game. I like how be I'm able to jump to this spot. Oh, it looks someone else got here too. been in a voice chat. Of course, like, obviously, like, I'm very shy, so, like, yeah. well, to be fair, I am trying to build confidence for myself, so I should try outside of my boundaries and actually be more like, outgoing a little bit. Because how will I have the confidence to actually do, like, voice recording in front of other people if I can't, like, if I'm so shy? Oh, there we go. It's really 
paper for masks. That's amazing. I tied with someone in first place. <laughs> oh, next on my coins. switch characters real quick in this game since I already maxed out my coin capacity moment I'm pretty much just like playing the story and um, getting some maxed out coins on some characters. I'm not doing it on all characters, only like a few of them. I still have to do at some point like I had to get a new keyboard because my keyboard's been like slowly like deteriorating for some reason yeah. I've been doing like the coin collecting on like five characters of mine but I kind of like am now only doing it on like two of them because I've been putting all the pixel equipment on one character and realizing I can only like rank up if I had it I think based on the patch notes so I had to get them to a thousand um for the last rank also the only thing I have left for like the metal like, the anniversary medal now is to just rank up.
Okay. Thanks. Twenty-seven. Hmm. I think I could do more on all my characters, but I only want to do it on one character. to upgrade those. Okay, I'm gonna switch to another character right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, my blaze wizard. Right, I have to do this real quick. Oh, here I go. Oh yeah, I already reached 151, so I don't think, yeah, the burning effects should not be present anymore. I need at least a thousand. I could just use my main to rank up. Hmm, what is going on? I guess one thing I can't stop thinking about is when 
if possibly, like, will the creator of Seraph of the End, um, like, continues? Like, has the anime adaptation of the series continued? Because I could definitely imagine it happening. I think it might happen at some point. But for the time being, it's like, nothing yet, because... Obviously, the thing about, like, a uh, monthly update manga is that... Obviously, that means the chapters are only out once a month, so... And of course, there are times where the where creators will have to take a break at least like a few times. Of course, everyone does want uh, anime adaptation to continue. I definitely think it it can it will at one point, but of course, I think uh, the series has to be almost done or already done, but it's not finished yet, obviously. So I'm probably not even nowhere near done yet. Um, I think in terms of chapter release as well, because the monthly update thing. One thing that's been on my mind a lot is like I want to see more of its anime, like its anime adaptation. Like, how would the rest look like animated? But at the same time, given the recent chapter, I don't know if I want to see that again animated with a voice acting with music because I'm just gonna cry. I'm just gonna cry all day, like on that ep from that ep possible episode. But I kept thinking about like Like at least like one particular line Well a few lines let's say that And of course I watched them So and I keep thinking about like Well like for this particular line Well Will the voice actor actually have to Will the voice actor say that in English And I think 100% yes they will Because I did mention it in the previous stream not the immediate last one but i think but i'm like thinking about it and <clears throat> i'm just thinking about it and i can confirm for a fact that that phrase when said like i think based on how it might be said it, it it would probably be enough for like the in English for us for for the phrase to be exactly the same. Like when said aloud. So I can't I can't wait. Um actually no, I don't want to I don't wanna say I can't wait because I have the because that's still an emotional like moment in the story, so hmm. I like I'm always dodging like talking about like things directly with Sarah for the end, but it's like its story has been insane and its recent chapters are uh Yeah, just you would want to have like you wouldn't want to have like a box of tissues just to wipe your eyes because of just emotional stuff. I'm mostly saying, I'm just mostly thinking about, like, if it's in the anime, like, would the set text be the same for English? And I can definitely say yes, because I think the way you would say it is, um, not quick. Like, you wouldn't say the, f the, the phrase, like, quickly. You would say it's kind of slow. Like, because... Hmm... Type it into Google Translate and see how it says it. <laughs> Basically, all people need to know is that if the anime adaptation ever continues and it gets to have like some lines of text, 100% like sure that it will obviously be the same in dub because. 
I did I do confirm that a lot of like what was in like the anime is pretty much exactly the same as what the characters say in the manga. Not exactly, but pretty much very close, so definitely not gonna be too much different. Other than the fact that I'll probably cry more when whenever that day happens, so I really like about watching it again, like back in March, was just <laughs> part of the reason I wanted to watch it again was it's been a long time. I kind of wanted to see it again in general, and also I wanted to hear the voice actors because, uh, as anyone knows, uh, thanks to Servian, one voice actor became my favorite voice actor over time, and uh, that and he will. And uh, the character he voices in Servidian is my favorite character in that series. And uh, we're gonna leave it at that so we don't spoil anything. <laughs> and like that's kind of like why I had like struggled a bit watching it again last year. Like other than I wanted to watch this one series before I watched it again because it was on my watch list for the long time. For the longest time. Yeah, the burning effect's gone, so I'm now leveling once, um, now, on this character. That's exciting. As I was saying, like, oh yeah, like one of the reasons I didn't, like, was like kind of nervous about watching it again. It was just like, oh no, I'm gonna have to go through the emotional things, and I had to hear how, like, I had to hear him say, like, voice the having voice these emotional things, and I'm just gonna, like, my heart. Yeah, just in general, considering the very first episode of Seraph the End is like, oh god, I know. Like, I was so nervous about watching that again in general because I'm like, oh god, we have to see all that happen. I'm pretty sure anyone who gets in the series knows immediately what happens. I just don't want to say it because it's like, oh gosh, um, thinking. which I should actually start in my next playthrough at some point. At the moment, I kind of just want to play MMOs for a while because I just... Well, MMOs are do an art stream because I just don't feel like playing and doing a new playthrough yet. Also, there is one game I want to definitely, like, play again, which is Sonky Zero, but I kind of want to wait until, like, one YouTuber I've been watching. I've always been watching for, like, a long time. Um... Like, until he begins his playthrough, because he was given the game, like, recently, and uh, he was considering it, so I hope he does play it, because I want to start my New Game Plus run around that time, so... So, like, it feels like I'm playing alongside him, even though I will obviously be ahead of them in the story. That I already know what happens, uh, for the most part, so... So I won't have any classes until August because I'm not going to be taking summer remote classes um, at all.
man, speaking of my classes, I should probably check out my final grades, um, soon. So I can see if I could actually, like, transfer, um, change my major. Because I did kind of mention a while back that, um, I've kind of switched over from, like, what I originally had because... I guess it wasn't working out so well with the classes. So I was like, let's try my second, like, interest, um, of things. But I couldn't go into it because I need higher grades. And because I think I did pretty well now, I think my grades should be, like, better. At least enough that I should be able to get into it. Then I had to check first, so... Yeah. random but I hopefully at some point I start learning um a new language because I've been thinking about it a lot and I sh and I want to consider actually like learning some Japanese um um not to like not like for anything special other than to actually read things off a website because, as anyone knows, I look at fan art, but of course the fan art I've seen, like, the, the text in the pictures are always in Japanese. Well, it obviously depends on the person, but... Like, most of the stuff I've seen are written in Japanese, um, the text. And... For the most part, and obviously, I cannot read Japanese or understand what it says. Other than a couple characters that I've come to recognize, which is usually just character names, um... So yeah, that's something I'm going to start doing slowly over time. And if anyone's cur curious, like, the other, like, some languages I've learned was, like, a tiny bit of Spanish and, uh, French. But of course, I'm not... <laughs> Like, I'm not, like, a big fan of learning Spanish because I'm not that good at learning, um, that language at all. Like, I had an easier time learning French because there's something about the language that I like it more. Probably because I actually want to visit, like, fr France one day. Of course, obviously, with the situation, we can't do that, but... But obviously in the distant future. But yeah, so, like, for me personally, I'm just, like, I will, like, look into, like, learning, um, Japanese. At least, like, more of it so I could be able to read some, some things that are... learning Japanese is obviously not easy. It's actually one of the... It's one of the hardest languages to learn out there. From what I know. Well, from like an English speaker, I guess. I don't know. It really depends on the person, but... The thing is, what makes Japanese seem so hard is that you have so many different symbols. They are all pronounced the same way. But they're... 
they mean different things. And that's kind of like what throws me off so easily. Like, it's because of that. And people saying hello to each other in game. talking about. <laughs> Anyways, um... situation where we're mostly stuck at home um for the most part i think i should like kind of like i mean i already am like more like recognizing like some characters in the japanese language but the thing is like the only thing i'm being i'm trying to recognize right now is like the katakana because obviously that's like trans it's katakana in japanese is Translating foreign words to, um, um, well, Japanese. So far, I've only been able to read a few characters, and some of them I'm only able to read just because I know some characters have it. Like, I don't know how to put it. Where's more of the coconuts? Jump somewhere, and I can't find any coconuts. Some random person in chat is voicing Anubis because I've seen it like three times now, like when playing these um, main games.
Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I think I forgot what I was talking about before that happened. Japanese like like how I'm trying to learn a little bit of it I think for the time being I'm kind of starting with just like recognizing like katakana even though I could just you literally use like like a guide from the internet to kind of translate it but it's like I want to recognize it without having to like use like something that helps translate like the writing It difficult to learn Japanese is just the fact that there is like a lot to it like like there's like hiragana and kanji which kanji is basically shortened I from what I know it's kind of shortened um, hiragana like if a phrase in hiragana is too long they shorten it to kanji um, and katakana is just you know translating words or names from a different language into like pronounce like how it would be pronounced in Japanese Yeah, and as I mentioned, like, the only thing I recognize, like, the, basically this, uh, the reason is just simply to be able to read, um, like, some things people post on, like, um, like, in their, like, have on, in their fan art, um, and creations. Like, so I don't have to rely on waiting till someone to translate it. And... Honestly, the only thing I'm able to read on any of those is a character's name. That's literally it. <laughs> Every other instance, I cannot read it. I can only read their names. I'm still not over like one thing, one particular thing I've seen. Like, obviously it's fan created, and um, I mentioned this in a few streams back, but it was something about, uh, so basically I've seen the English, I've seen a, someone translate it um, somewhere on Tumblr. Um, it was actually, I've seen it originally on, well, actually I found where it originally came from, which was on Pixiv. I don't know if the person has a Tumblr as well, but someone on Tumblr translated it. And when I saw it, I my what went on my mind was this that I was like Okay, give me a second. What went on my mind was that I was like, so that's what my friend sorta has been saying this whole time. <laughs> because the thing is, um <laughs> Okay, this is kinda related to Seraph the end, and it's only in the anime because um obvious reasons. And, uh, like, it's, it wasn't, like, directly, but it was more, like, how she was commenting on something, like, 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 what a character wears, and I had no idea what she meant by that, and I, I didn't even ask. 
at the time because I was like, how do I word this into a question? And <laughs> she knew what it meant, I didn't. And only recently, thanks to that like fan created like thing, like how do I put it? Um, which was pretty was originally posted like four years ago. Um I think roughly the on Pixiv, they shared it in 2016, is what I'm saying, and... And the post on Tumblr had, was, like, the the whole thing translated, and that's how I knew what it, what my friend was, me, was talking about, and I was like, Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant when you were like, do you notice what they're wearing? <laughs> because of what it means to some people, um, or just in the like what it means and I'm like <laughs> it's something ship related okay I'll just say that it's something like related to shipping and I'm like oh my god <laughs> it took me four years to know what it meant <laughs> it took me four years I still can't get over that it took me four years to know what it meant to know what it means <clears throat> yep. For the most part, I'm never living down the fact that I never knew what it meant, what she meant, or like what fans have meant. Nah. My mouth feels weird. I am never new until this year, 2020, when we're all stuck in our houses. <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense why I didn't really think much about it, like, or asked, like, within these four years, because I was on and off from, like, Sir for the End for a while. Well, one, I read the volumes online, and two, I mean, not, I read the volumes, like, the physical copies of the volumes and I never read it online until this year so now that I am I am pretty much back into thinking about it once in a while so yeah but still it took me four years to know what it meant <laughs> I don't want to say it out loud because I'm just gonna be so, I'm just gonna be so embarrassed a little bit because I'm like, oh no, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Nope, no, I'm just gonna be a flustered little mess if I said it. <clears throat> mm. So in short, I'm not going to say anything, like specifically about this. the achievement of being able to attack enemies in this I can't do it well really there we go Also, like, when thinking about Servidian, like, now, like, thinking back on a lot of things, especially after the latest chapter. Um, I don't want to say it because, you know, as I said, that's uh, several times. It is related to what is, like, if I say it, it'll just 
like make me talk about what happened in chapter 90 and I don't want to say the specifics because it's very spoilery at this point considering but in um but like this particular thing that is confirmed in chapter 90 like I know like it's kind of weird to say it because like well not say it in particular but just like to talk about like this where it's like well, considering the fan base for over like several years now, but but like even with that, even despite that, like and also I am one of the shippers out there, um, to be honest. Like even with that, it's like you look back knowing it's true, and you like see it much more clearly, and it's like it's like it just makes your heart fuzzy. But also because of late of recent events in the manga already, it's like, it makes you cry, so... Even more, so... Like, yeah, around the time of that chatter, like, at least, like, 24 hours later, I've seen on... I follow someone on Tumblr. Um, I follow both of their blogs, their art blog and their main blog. And some of the things that they shared on their main blog, I read through the... So, at least, like, one of them, like, I read through replies. Like, after the... After knowing... Like, one of the replies, which was the only reply in that one post, was, like, after that whole thing like confirming it it's like every scene hits differently and they're not wrong they are they are they're correct they they are 100% right on that Why can't I get this activated? Be elite monster. But yeah, it's like knowing it's true now. It just like thinking back on a lot of scenes, you just see it, and it's like. It makes me hard all fuzzy, but it also hurts because of, you know, as I said, what happened. And it's, uh, I'm very emotionally confused. Like, I've been emotionally confused for a whole week because of, like, since that chapter. I feel a lot better emotionally, but it's like, that's still on my mind a lot. <clears throat> Also, the entire series makes you want to hug these poor, like, teenage characters, like, and t and just, like, because they go through so much, and you just want to hug them. I put it on my um, scene here on stream. Like, why I say literally talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, to kind of clarify one particular point, the reason why I put ONS slash SOTE is because some people don't call the series by its English name, which is Seraph of the End. They say the Japanese. Um, They say the, the romanized um, Japanese, which is Awari no Seraph. 
or how it actually is pronounced is Owari no Serapu. Um, but of course, I'm one of the few fans that actually pronounce it, like say the English name, which is Seraphian, because, um, well, <laughs> my entire, literally half my shelf, well, well, now 40% of it, because there's actually not that much merch, um, for this series, which makes me sad. Um, makes you really wish there's Nendoroids, but it's like, how does you know Nendoroids? Even the most obscure series that I've seen and didn't like got an Nendoroid, but not like something like Sarah for the end. It's like, why? Um... Anyways, um... Let's go back to town! I forgot... Raise... I mean, sell all the things. Give me a moment. <laughs> Anyways, um, What was I saying? Okay, my brain just stopped for a moment because I was like thinking of something else. text where it's like <laughs> like some random explanation points that should not be there okay anyways <laughs> okay what now <laughs> um mm, I feel like I should end my stream soon because I don't really have much to do so Oh wait, no, let's go finish the, uh, coin collecting. And then I'll end it off. Yeah, I'm like thinking about a lot of things, like with Seraph the end, and yeah. Yeah, definitely one thing I'm thinking about a lot is the um. Um, just like, I'm like thinking back on a lot of things from the series after like we know this fact for sure and like it being confirmed and all and
Yeah, I'm just thinking about it now, and it's just like, uh, like at least like one part, one thing I remember definitely next to a lot of other things is how um, like in volume fourteen, and I'm just going to say volume fourteen so people have an idea of what chapters I'm talking about. Um. There was, there's obviously been like points in that volume where it's like talking about how, how, like his human emotions are like fading since, um, since, yeah. Um, and like one thing that stood out was how like. Like, his feelings for, like, someone close to him for, like, years is, like, that has not changed. And I, like, keep thinking about that in particular a lot. And just, like, can adding to how, to what we know officially, it's, like, it's there. And it's, like, like, it just, yeah. It just makes my heart all fuzzy and I also want to cry a little bit because of, you know, recent things, recent chapter things, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm just like thinking about it. Like that's like one thing I can't stop thinking about the most because we know, we know for sure. And it just hurts emotionally now. Of course, we don't completely know of if there's any sort of reciprocation yet. Because it's probably some... Like, we might get something or know something in a few chapters or something. I don't know. I was like... <sighs> I'm just thinking about it a lot and just getting me emotional. <laughs> also, good time to remind people that uh, whenever a new chapter of Seraph of the End comes out now, I'm going to be streaming on those days <laughs> for like a short time because I will probably want to cope and talk about the chapter on those days. So, uh, that's a little something to mention. The next chapter is not until, like, at least, like, I think June 3rd, so... Um, yeah, expect the stream sometime around that day. Definitely on that day, because... Um, obvious reasons. Which I already said. <laughs> And also, like, I need to cope. Like, the like the last chapter broke me so much, like, emotionally that I had this stream on that day. And it was like, streaming on that day was pretty much how I was able to cope. So, um, with the uh, emotional stuff. So, I'm actually glad I did stream on that day. And I will be doing it multiple times in the future as well. So, get used to random streams happening with no warning whatsoever. Oh yeah, and also speaking of that, of uh, streams, I did make a highlight of one of my recent, I wouldn't say recent, but it was on my May 1st stream that I talked about something that some people would question. Like, I definitely know some people would say, like, why would he say that, Just considering, you know, everything. And, uh, I pretty much explained how, like, what that, what it means, like, why someone would say that, even if there are other people with them as well. So, it's kind of a messy explanation because I was also drawing at the same time, so my thinking was like kind of everywhere. Good 
chair is in a gotcha, but it's also like, okay. Somebody donate a hundred. How about you just get that amount yourself in the game? It's not that hard. It really isn't. Describe it asleep already. There, I got it. Add some points. But I seriously wonder, do people even know what Surf of the End is? <laughs> like, to anyone who's just seeing the initials on screen. So I feel like I talk about it so much on my streams, people still don't know what it is. Okay, I might sell coins. Okay, what am I doing? I am right. Also, I will be ending the stream in just a few seconds. First, I need to do something here. Get some potions. Oops. Yeah, I should be able to rank up tomorrow or something. midnight I think actually no midnight UTC but there's like minutes anyway at some point I guess and my inventory is filled really 
thing I've left to get the medal is just to rank up, so. shut down the familiar system since it broke down like a few times after the update. Anyways, I'm going to leave it off for today's stream. I kind of want to do something later today and uh, and obviously I wouldn't want to stream it, so, yeah. So, as per usual, I did my dailies on my main. I didn't really do them all because I kind of got tired of Vanishing Journey dailies, um, after a while. And... Well, I'm pretty much, um, yeah. Also, I got some coin capacity maxed out on two characters, which I'm doing now because I don't really have to get more coins out of our characters. And what else? Wait, I still want to upgrade that. I forgot. And I just pretty much talked a bunch of things as well as some as well as some things about like what I'm like doing lately or like kind of wanting to do in the future. And I guess that's it. Pretty much just a casual stream. And of course I purposely spelled stream differently on my title because well. Thank the Rock Spirit dialogue for that. <laughs> Anyways, um, is there more? Well, one thing, hopefully at some point I start my next playthrough, I'm still deciding what I want to do next. Because a lot of things are happening, and I really don't know if I want to, you know, try them out yet. And also, just a reminder that, um, considering that, uh, my favorite series is making me sad with its recent chapters, I will be streaming on the days they, those chapters come out now, because apparently that's now have been a thing, because I've been streaming on unusual days a little bit, like, not yet, but it will eventually become a thing soon. And I think that's it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next stream.